All right, so this is a video I don't want to make, but it is tax season, so we have to make it. And yeah, this is for people who use Coinbase Pro. So basically, uh, TurboTax desktop sucks, and you can't import anything from Coinbase, but it does exist on the online version. Yeah, once you get to this section in TurboTax Online, yeah, you basically just, you know, Coinbase. They have both Coinbase Pros. Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, and then you click it, and then uh, follow the steps down here, and you're good to go. But if you're stuck like me, and stuck using TurboTax Desktop, the first method you can do is basically you just uh, do all that work in TurboTax Online, and then you uh, save it as their tax file thing, which is a TurboTax like specific file, and you just import that into TurboTax uh, Desktop. Um, that would work great for me, except that I started my entire tax return on the desktop version, and then I just found that I couldn't import Coinbase, so I had to, you know, do this. So if I uh, did this method, I lose all my work on desktop because you can't merge two returns for some reason. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks, TurboTax, for that. Option two, as noted down here, is to use Coin Tracker. Yeah, this is a Coinbase post, and yeah, they encourage you to use Coin Tracker, and they partnered with Coin Tracker to give you 3,000 transactions for free. Basically, if you if you only traded uh, under 3,000 times, you can use Coin Tracker for free. Click, yeah, click the link, continue with Coinbase. Here, you add your wallets, and then basically just you know add Coinbase, Coinbase Pro. Uh, same same uh, steps as the TurboTax thing, basically. Uh, yeah, you click this, and then you go to your API keys, and you make a new new API key. Uh, name it something and then give them view only permission so they can't edit anything passphrase is this thing for the passphrase goes there api key yeah so this one right here one time api secret is down here done and then the api key is this top one right here and there anyway go to taxes when you're done tax center and then scroll all the way down and terrible tax is under here tax filing software which is this one so yeah, we have to convert this CSV file into a TXF file. So this is the site. It's called easytxf.com. There you go. Here it is. The, your, your CSV has to match this thing or it won't convert properly. So this is, the, take this whole column, uh, control X to cut, right click, insert cut cells, shift it over. Cost basis is your, uh, quantity is in the correct spot. Received is opening date. Date sold is your closing date, so that's next. Opening is your cost basis, so cut that. Move that here. And date sold is this one, and proceeds are your closing net amount. And these two uh, columns don't really matter. Actually, it says you can only have these, so you know, save the delete. Just delete these columns in good hands, and then save it. Okay, I think it should be. I think we're good. And then uh, go ahead and. Convert it. Yeah. And then it's here. And just click convert. Balance for you. So that's how to get a TXF file from Coinbase Pro. Hopefully that helps people doing the taxes. And it saves you some time. And hopefully money. Uh, yeah, if you find this helpful, hit the subscribe button. That's it. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one.